From the moment of conception, the blueprint for a new human life is written. And part of that blueprint decides whether the baby will be male or female. Now you might think, I'm male or female, that's obvious. But it's not as simple as it seems. You see, every human cell contains 46 chromosomes, arranged in 23 pairs. Out of these, 22 pairs are called autosomes. They carry most of the genetic information that makes us who we are. But the 23rd pair is special. These are the sex chromosomes, and they determine a person's biological sex. In females, this pair is XX. In males, it's XY. Here's how it works. When a baby is conceived, it happens when a father's sperm cell fertilizes a mother's egg cell. The egg always carries an X chromosome, because the mother's sex chromosome pair is XX. The sperm, however, can carry either an X or a Y chromosome, because the father's sex chromosome pair is XY. So the combination goes like this. If the sperm carries an X chromosome and it meets the egg's X chromosome, the result is XX and the baby will be female. If the sperm carries a Y chromosome and it meets the egg's X chromosome, the result is XY, and the baby will be male. It's important to note that the father's sperm actually determines the baby's gender, since only the sperm can provide either an X or Y chromosome, while the egg always provides an X. Once the sperm fertilizes the egg, the sex chromosomes combine, the genetic instructions for gender are set, and this will influence how the baby's body develops during pregnancy. Around the seventh week of development, the embryo's reproductive system begins to form based on those instructions. If the chromosomes are XX, the embryo develops ovaries, which later produce estrogen, leading to female characteristics. If the chromosomes are XY, a special gene on the Y chromosome, called the SRY gene, triggers the development of testes, which produce testosterone, leading to male characteristics. This process is purely biological and happens without any conscious control. It's a fascinating reminder that such a major aspect of who we are is decided in an instant at the very start of life. From just two microscopic cells, guided by the pairing of X and Y chromosomes, the path of human development begins, and nine months later, a new life enters the world. Isn't this topic super interesting? If so, stay tuned for more videos that explore the complexities of human biology and genetics.